New Jersey high school boys basketball teams will face off today at noon in a championship game after a controversial courtside ruling. On Tuesday, the Camden Panthers were leading the Manasquan Big Blue Warriors, scores 46-45 during the semifinal game. Three seconds on the clock, Manasquan player misses a three-pointer from the wing. His teammate Griffin Lindstra was there, grabs the rebound, put the shot back in for what the team thought was the game-winning basket. The buzzer beater secured Manasquan's spot in the state championship, or so it seemed. While the fans rushed onto the court to celebrate, the referees decided to reverse the original call, resulting in a victory for Camden. This despite the fact that several videos showed that the shot clearly should have counted. There was time on the clock. The next day, the New Jersey State Interscholastic Athletic Association admitted the referees made the wrong call, even going as far as to apologize for the error. And despite the overwhelming evidence from the video, the tournament rules prohibit the use of videos in reversing a game official's decision. Even New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy weighed in on the controversial call, saying that he felt badly for the players, the coaches, the families that had a victory snatched from them. But ultimately, he said he couldn't do anything to change the outcome. The Manasquan School Board, the Board of Education, asked a county superior court judge to delay today's championship game between the Camden Panthers and the Arts High School Jaguars, but their request was denied. And then yesterday, Friday, the New Jersey Commissioner of Education declined to hear the board's appeal, citing that, quote, the commissioner cannot find that the official's decision regarding the basket was anything other than a judgment call, and the NG SIAA rules clearly state that once an official has made a judgment call, no appeals will be honored, even if the official's decision was not correct. Under the clear and explicit bylaws, it is not revu reviewable. Plus, the appellate division for the Superior Court in New Jersey also denied Manasquan's appeal. I want to know what you think. Go to my website at smirconish.com. Answer today's poll question. Should courts correct a blown call by a high school sports referee. Joining me now is John Popola. He's a filmmaker, entrepreneur, and host of Dad Saves America podcast. John, nice to see you. Everybody agrees Manasquan was robbed. The question is, what, if anything, should have been done about it? Well, first of all, thanks for having me, Michael. You know, it's funny because this one goes against my libertarian priors, which is I actually think the courts and the governor of New Jersey got this right. Um, how are you going to do this, right? How are you going to, at this slight, slim margin, make a decision just on the basis of the final shot? I mean, any shot throughout that whole game would have changed that outcome. So I kind of, I feel for the parents, I feel for the, the school, you know, my, my son played uh, varsity basketball this year. And so I've been a parent on the sidelines cheering for my, my son and getting angry about bad calls, but there's, I mean, how many calls throughout that game could have gone the other way if the cameras were focused on it? So I, I think the you make a really good I think point. The court made and the by right the way, call a point, I think the a school. Point, a point made by one of the lawyers in this case, Catherine, put up on the screen so I, I can show John. He said, "Are we going to go back and look at all 32 minutes of the game and come to the judge and say, Judge, this wasn't a foul? It's ridiculous." That's really the point you're making. Like, how far back are we going to begin the process of review? Well, I also think we have this problem in our in our country where everything is uh, a constant appeal to the next highest authority and everything's become political. And to me, this sort of speaks to this problem we have of, of adulthood. You know, the adults at the school level should have taken a deep breath after this and, and, and rallied around the team but said, look, this these are the rules and this is the way this goes. And sometimes life isn't fair. <laughs> and uh, to take it to court... I don't know. I just think that sends the wrong message to the whole community, especially to the kids. Okay. Griffin Lindstra is the young man who made the shot, the, the shot that he should have remembered. Well, frankly, now he will remember for the rest of his life. John, you are all about dads and the importance of dads yeah. as role models. If you were his dad, the young man who made that shot that should have made him a hero and on to the next level of the championship, what do you say to him? What's the message for him? Well, I think I'd first say, look, imagine being on the Camden team, going into the next round, knowing that you technically lost. You know, it, it, life is like this. Life involves close calls that could go one way or the other. And 
you played great and you've got an awesome life ahead of you. So like brush it off. It's you're going to be all right. You're going to survive. <laughs> I mean, honestly, that is what I would say. That's what I tell my own son. Okay. We're limited to 30 seconds. How about the Camden team? Is there any argument here for them to stand down and say, we're not cool with how we won this? I mean, that'd be up to them. I think that again, I, I think uh, Mr. Capanelli makes a pretty good point. I, I, you know, you, th these things happen throughout the game all the time. And as a parent, I've had that experience. It's like, oh, well, you know, if that one call hadn't been made and they didn't reverse that, you know, or if they'd gotten the three point there, it would have changed everything. I mean, this is just one of those rare cases where it came right down to the last second. It was one basket away that determined it and it creates this heat, but you know, I don't know. This is not ultimately a moral decision. This is this is sort of about the rules and everybody getting hot head and caught up in things. I think you're right. John Popola, thank you for that. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me.